Well, Mark, we shared the points with Hull today. How did you see the game? Um, saw the game as being, you know, I thought we were actually quite fortunate, Rich, to get our, our noses in front. And then you're thinking we should see the game out. I think my overall take of the game today was that we looked, we looked a team that was fatigued. You know, maybe maybe coming out of the two hours that we played against Cardiff on in in the middle of the week, it's sort of I think it sort of manifested itself today in, in our play. We were sloppy in possession, gave the ball away too many times. So then it becomes like a basketball game. You know, I've said in the past that you've got to be, you know, with the players that we've got in the team, the quality that we've got, we've got to try and be more in charge of our own destiny. You know, getting the ball, creating the tempo of the play, and, and, and being comfortable in possession. And I thought today our, slot, our passing was sloppy. You know, I, get, I look back and then think, well, you know, it possibly was. It didn't help, certainly, in terms of the, if I say, the fatigue, mental and physical that we, we were probably suffering from from the midweek game of Cardiff. You know, and, and too many of our of our players today were, were off it. You know, not not I say nowhere near the standards that they've set really. So, and but when you go in front, you think we can see the game out. OK, it took a deflection, but we should have defended it better anyway. Yeah, we take a point from the game, but we're all massively disappointed not to get the three. As you say, I suppose the, that fatigue that sets in, you know, it's a bit of an explanation, but I'm sure you'll still want, yeah, like you say, expect sort of a bit higher standards from the, from the team, look after the ball a bit better, those kind of things. Yeah, yeah, we do. And then and other things added on to that contrary to, to what, what happens on the day. You know, we lost both full-backs. You know, Chris Gunter looks like he's, he's tweaked his groin. Jordan Obita's hamstrings were really, really sore, you know, again, after the exertions in the week. So, you know, it forces your hand there with two, two substitutions there. And then you try to sort of freshen things up later on in the game, you know. But, but there was too many of our players then who basically, I say, maybe because of that, we've we got to be better controlling, controlling the possession in the game. You mentioned Chris Gunter's um, injury, of course, meant uh, a debut for Felipe Araruna. Came on at just after, well about half an hour into the game, and yeah. uh, and you can sort of see what type of player he is, and he wants to get stuck in straight away. Yeah, and it, listen, it's Felipe was on the bench today, but it wasn't my you know, if I'd had my choice, it wouldn't have been fair to him really. I think to bring him on that early, you know, it was his first first time really in the stadium for looking at the the pace and the tempo of the game. He's had about two and a half weeks training since in Brazil since the back end of, of the season there. So, you know, he's short on a little bit of fitness and sharpness, but I think he showed in the few touches that he had the qualities that he's got and the qualities that our fans can look forward to. You know, but again, him coming in, I think if anything, he's probably let down by some of the players around him today. We've got, we've got to be, you know, we're unbeaten again, but that, that means absolutely nothing to me. At the moment, we've drawn too many games, we've got to start winning games. A little side note, a little bit positive. I mean, Jordan Abita scoring today. It was a couple of years ago against Hull City here at Modeski Stadium. He got his injury, he kept him out for two years. And the fact that he's kind of you know back in the squad regular now, able to play a couple of games a week and, and, and scoring goals shows what kind of uh, what kind of recovery he's made after after a bit of a torrid time for a few years. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Jordan always, I think nearly every game he plays, whether he's come on as sub or started the game, he's either scored or created a goal. So we know his assist, assist is right up there as well, and uh, yeah, I mean, if we looked this morning. I think he'd played as many, if not more, minutes over the last three weeks than any other player in the squad. So I think that's a, that's a good standard bearer for him to take forward, you know. So we know the qualities he's got, and as I say today, he was he was he was feeling his hamstrings before the game, even and at half time as well. So you know, when when he when he, he got the goal, he came back, and I'm asking him. He said he's stiffening up, so we had to make the change. So again, forced our hand again. Back in, in a few days' time against West Bromwich Albion, a team that are going for those automatic spots. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's the, the the level of that challenge. Yeah, we've got to recover. We've got to get them some freshness back in our play. And we've got to get our mentality right as well. Of course, you know, I mean, again, just make sure we're going into the game and uh, in front of our own fans here. And we, we're back to the qualities that we've shown, certainly with me over the last few months, of trying to trying to play our own game and not not, not get wrapped up in, 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 in anything other than playing our own game showing our qualities and trying to be in charge of our own destiny. And that's the thing, you know, we, every game we've played, it's been about recovery. It's been so unrelenting these sort of probably last probably two months, really, hasn't it? But I've never heard a peep of an excuse from anyone about that, really. No, no. I look, look back through the team today. I mean, if you're looking back three today, Liam, Liam Moore, the captain, has been in a, a plastic boot for like the last five days because he had to immobilise his foot because he's been playing with an injury there. Michael Morrison played two hours in the week. Uh, Tyler Black did the same, and, and apart from those three, I think they're the only fit centre halves we've got in the club. You know, we've got three or four centre halves injured, 
So it's almost like they had to get out there and play again. And we, you know, we didn't even have it. We only had Omar as a defender on our bench. So um, yeah, but we, you know, we've got players now like Andy Aiden played today. I don't know what how he got on, but he played uh, in the under 23s down at Swansea today. So and he'll be pushing to come back into things as well. So um, yeah, we've got to keep striving forward, mate, because you know I said right from the start, it's a disappointment again, but. You know, we'll keep pushing and keep pushing and keep pushing and try to put wins on the board and see where we get to. Thanks for your time, Matt. Cheers. Cheers.